One of the things that I personally really like about this work is kind of hearing the the story of how you came to you know develop and uh, kind of dig deep and learn all these things throughout the um, throughout like kind of the arc of your PhD. I wonder if you're you know comfortable sharing with a with a wide audience if you could talk a little bit about what that story looks like. Um, and as you are you know in your last year of your PhD, what advice would you give to younger students, um, you know, maybe some of us included, uh, who are just in the middle or the beginning of their PhD journeys. So I can tell you how the pieces of this particular project kind of came together and how that developed. Um, I actually spent a large portion of my PhD working purely on these, um, this like theory of structure matrices. So I mentioned that um, the S4 model, one of the key challenges to make it work was developing this special representation and fast algorithm to make it efficient. Um, and that was based off of some expertise, I guess I developed in earlier years of my PhD, which was purely on algorithmic aspects of um, linear algebra structure matrices. And that had like nothing, to, I never thought that, to be honest, I never thought it would ever be useful. And it was just doing it for its own sake. Um, the then um so the way i talked about this project was that we motivate it from this state space model which is a well-known model and then we incorporate the hippo theory actually it kind of developed in reverse where we looked at the we were solving this problem this hippo problem of memorization first um which leveraged some of the toolbox we developed on structure matrices and orthogonal polynomials and so on and we came up with this uh, a nice theoretical result but we had trouble making it very effective. And then the connection to state spaces kind of developed as a, a almost like a pattern match, but it just, it was like, we're trying to figure out how to make this work. And there was an, it turned out there was a natural connection to state spaces um, that then we tried, we investigated and trying to incorporate it, um, but then run in, ran into these other challenges of the computation and so on. So the, the final, project I think is, I mean, this, this work I think is quite, um, the connection to state spaces is extremely interesting, I think, um, but it didn't quite evolve quite that straightforward. Um, it involved going through these detours involving um, lots of just like pure theory and algorithms and then some math problems on, um, on signals and then finally developed into a method. And I think generally that's an experience I've had in with research um, so to answer your question about the advice, I do think that spending a, an amount of time on just um, fundamental tools or investigating just, um, yeah, so for me, it was uh, structure matrices, um, which is kind of like theoretical tools for its own sake, um, as long as they're interesting. And if they're interesting, then usually you'll find some way to apply it. And so for me, that naturally became applied into HIPPO and then finally into the S4 model.